I've got some bonus information for you. Stick around until the end of the video to find out. Do you want to know the different ways to call out your monsters? <coughs> Let's talk about it. Hi, my name is TDP, and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! 101. This is the third episode of the series, and today we're going to talk about what are the different kinds of summons and how do they work. Let's start off with what a summon is. A summon is an action in the game where you put a monster card in face up or face down position in a monster zone on the field. Sounds easy, right? Now, let's go to the different kinds of summon in the game. We have three kinds of summons. Normal summon, flip summon, and special summon. Let's start with the most basic of them all, normal summon. A normal summon is when you put a monster from your hand to one of the main monster zones on the field in face-up attack position. You can only normal summon level 4 or lower monsters and you can only do this once per turn. Next, we go to flip summon. A flip summon is where you flip a monster from face down defense position to face up attack position. You literally flip them to show and this is not once per turn. The last summon is called special summon. A special summon is another way to place monsters onto the monster zones but it's not once per turn. You can special summon from the hand, main deck, extra deck, graveyard, and even in the banished zone. The first three summons that I've talked about are what I call the main summons. Now, let's go to what I call the sub summons. This includes tribute summon, ritual summon, fusion summon, synchro summon, exceed summon, pendulum summon, and link summon. Tribute summons are a kind of normal summon. Fusion, ritual, synchro, exceed, Pendulum and Link Summons are all kinds of special summon. Let's go to the first sub-summon, Tribute Summon. A Tribute Summon can only be done to level 5 or higher monsters from the hand and they are summoned in face-up attack position. You need to tribute a certain number of monsters depending on the level of the monster that you're going to tribute summon. If the monster is level 5 or 6, one tribute is needed. If it's level 7 or higher, two tributes are needed. You can only tribute summon once per turn. Now we go to the others. Fusion summon is when you combine two or more monsters, listed as fusion materials, using a card effect to bring out the fusion monster from the extra deck. Either you use a monster, spell, or trap card to fusion summon. Just read the fusion monster and the card needed. Ritual summon needs three cards in total. Ritual Monster, Ritual Card, and Monster Tributes. Unlike the Fusion Summon, these cards are in the main deck. This is how it usually goes. The Ritual Monster is in your hand, and you need a Ritual Card partnered to it. You also need other monsters as Tributes. The total level of Tributes should be equal or more than the level of the Ritual Monster. Synchro Summon is usually done by sending a Tuner Monster and a non-Tuner Monster from Field to Graveyard as Synchro Materials that equals to the exact level of the Synchro Monsters that you're going to summon from the Extra Deck. Exceed Summon is done by putting two or more monsters on the field with the same level on top of each other as Exceed Materials, then put the Exceed Monster on top of those. Pendulum Summon is done when there are two Pendulum Monsters with different Pendulum Skills face up on your Pendulum Zones. You can Special Summon Monsters all at the same time from your hand and or face up Pendulum Monsters from the Extra Deck where the levels are in between the numbers of the Pendulum Skills. Let's put it in simple terms. You have two face up Pendulum Monsters on each Pendulum Zone. If you have a Scale 1 on one side and a Scale 8 on the other, you can Pendulum Summon monsters from level 2 to level 7, and this is only once per turn. Let's go! Lastly, Link Summon. This is the easiest special summon. Usually, just send face-up monsters you control from the field to the graveyard as link materials equal to the link monster's link rating. It means the number of glowing arrows. The link monster is summoned in the extra monster zone. If you want to summon another link monster, the first link monster should have a glowing arrow pointing towards a main monster zone on your side. Here's the bonus information. We have normal set, 
Tribute Set, and Face Down Special Summon. These three are summon mechanics instead of an actual summon, but I'll join it here anyway. Normal set is the same as normal summon, but instead of putting the monster in face-up attack position, it's in face-down defense position. Tribute set is the same as a tribute summon, but like I said earlier, it's in face-down defense position, tributes are still needed as well. Face-down special summon is the same as special summon, but you guessed it, it's in face-down defense position. This is not once per turn. I've pretty much covered the basics of what summons are. I might do an in-depth discussion on each of the summons in the future. Comment down below if you think that would be helpful or not. If you think that this video was helpful, why not check the previous video of what a floodgate is or check the whole playlist. And that's it. Thank you so much guys for watching. See you next time.